by the number 26, two, two, two lines above that, two lines above the number 26. Concluding why the bracha of Yitzchak, Yitnachar, Lekim, Gvuris, the Atik, have to come to Yaakov in the way of Cyrus. Notwithstanding that Yaakov is higher than Yitzchak and Avram. Let's try and understand the reason, therefore. again, Yaakov doesn't have the union of Sa, the union of the hair. Fahainu, because in a word, in a word, Yaakov is rooted in the etzem. To use the broader terms, the Skecha Gvul and Kecha Bligvul that Abishta manifests. So the paradox is paradox in paradox. In the most manifested ways, as Ishtal Shalus knows reality, Gvul conceals and Bligvul reveals. Probing a little bit deeper, no, Kecha Gvul is deeper. Kecha Gvul is deeper than Kecha Bligvul. Not Mitzad Etzem Mamish, Mitzad Etzem Mamish, all is equal. But I'm not speaking Mitzad Etzem Mamish, I'm talking a Darge. <coughs> it's really referred to sometimes the Etzem Ha'ir. So Gvul is deeper. Just to illustrate that in our own world, we see that it takes more energy to contain yourself than to express yourself. <coughs> As very simply conveyed by the Mishnah, is a giber a koivish as you'd say. The true might and power is in containment. And that's a reflection of the Maila. By divine design, Debishta wants us to appreciate, and that's the whole Aveda and Shlichus of Dirbatahtoinim and Golos, the Dafk in the Helam is a deeper investor. Yaakov, however, is rooted in the etzem, in the face of which Gvul and Bligvul Abishav and Mamish, they're equal. This whole maila of Gvul over Bligvul, Bepnimis, not Begoloi, the Dafki Bepnimis and Yonim is true, Mitzad Seder Ishtaushalas to some degree. In the words that I'm using, not Mitzad Eir, Mitzad Etzem Eir, but still part of the process of his pashtus of manifestation and gilui. And that's the reason he's going to explain, not using that language, but to explain why Yaakov's essential connection needs to be expressed through the situs of Esau, through Gavul, in the Maimir. I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to talk as much as I'm able to, but at the end of the day, you have to toil to understand this. Because the language that, that, I, that for me is, may not be language for you, so you have to hold of it. Vinyi Bezeh, Sheyakev, Omer, Alatz, Mevan, Noichi, Yishcholok. So Yaakov said, I'm smooth. Behind the Shemidosi, no Cyrus. Shemidosi shall Yaakov, Midesati Feres, Bekavim Tsoi. Again, so he's the central shaft, Shemavrich, Minakotze, Lakotze. We spoke about yesterday the union of embers and empathy, which is an Atzmizdiki thing. The Nimsa Shemsad Shorshi, Lumayn, May, Gambi, Avron, Vitzrak, so his source is higher than both. And this is, right, but if, if something I'm saying is you don't understand, stop me. So far, it was understood. So far, good. Hi, no, the mind of Chinus Chesed, the Gvoda Shebetainog, high even than Chesed, and high even than Gvoda, which be Pinimis is high than Chesed, in Tainog, in Tainog, altogether as an Indian overall, an Indian Atzmi overall, Bachlal. Everything is relative and not compared to the Etzim Mamish. It's still a, an experience, a spashtus, a decision of Hashem to express himself in some way. But he is rooted in that Atzim place. 
It's really the Shodesh of Neshama Yisrael Mamash. The Ma'ilim Achilik Deir Yashav El is higher than the distinction between Er Yash and El Chayzer, which is, which is what? Just the geography or the geometry. Er Yash and El Chayzer match it up with Chesed and Gevur which is which? Yash and Chesed. Yeah. Right, so he's hiding that she's up in his atmos hashefa shebe mashbia. Now comes the key word. So he's he, he's rooted in the atmos hashefa of the mashbia. It's still giloy, but it's an atmos diki giloy, and everything is relative, and that's where the the whole friends, the whole the challenge, want of a better word, in understanding chesedus is understanding relativity. Understanding how the, the Indian of relativity, what gvul, bleak gvul, these are not black and white terms, and everything, all the language of Siddhis is not black and white, including the word etzim, but atzma samashbiya. And to, to, to understand the nuance and difference and the relativity of the dargas and their interplay and oneness, that's the whole haravani of Siddhis. It's not a jigsaw puzzle, you know, neatly put a piece down and finish Gamanu. It's all very fluid. It's all godliness and it's one Abishtur, so all is one. Anyway, let's go further. So these words are important now. It seems to me this is the key to understanding this the interplay here of Yaakov and Yitzchak. So he on the one hand is just saying now established he's rooted where in the level of Atzma Sasha Beshe Mashpia. Now, Shle Nimshach Adai Lemata. Yaakov cannot access his own dark, as it were. Adshe Yumshach Gam Moisri Ashefa De Pchinus Asiris. It has to be drawn down together with, or also with, Moisri Ashefa Siris, which we explained yesterday is one and the same thing. It's residual. The Cyrus, residual, all to say, it means, it means that it cannot come down in a neat, contained way. It's all in that, if you're talking Etzem also, even Hamikoshke. So it has to come in a way of Urchaizer, it has to come in a way of Ispailus. It has to be expressed in his pilus and not in, again, entitlement, and I understand this, and it's neat, and, and it's apprehended and experienced within the, the containment of the self, seichel or midas or whatever it is. It cannot be. We're talking etzim. There's the appreciation of it, and he said before, it's a very important line. Who remembers it? Yesterday we were emphasizing over and over again. Go back a couple of lines. It's a critical line here in the ice. I'll just lead you to it. If it's only, we're only getting the situs and we're left with it back to square one, as it were, what's been accomplished. Between them to so it's only Tzimtzum, it's only Tzahara, it's Moisris. If that's all it is, so what's, what's left? Then, we have, then we've gained nothing. What's the key line there? There's a few words there. A few lines back. <laughs> Did you say it again? No, no, no. I don't think. Even in in the Maestres is Nimshech Hashpah Beribu Yachayis Beyaiser. Even though it's residual? Yeah. Is that what you said, Adam? No. Before that, yeah. Huh? The Mikol Mokim, where is it? Go back a couple of lines, Mamish. No, the word starts, the line starts the word Davke. Shime Yoisam. Chaim just quoted. So he's saying somehow that not lost, even though it's only coming in the way of 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 El Chayzer and Moises, we're not apprehending this, but the Ashpos, but Rebbe Chayis, and the and the Gevurat Atik, and we were trying to explain yesterday that this is not. He's not saying. Listen up. He's not saying that even though there's this Chesodin, but you should know that that the, the, the Mitzvah says that the the Chayis is drawn there. The Rebbe Chayis be Yosef. 
what he's saying is that it has to dafka be this way. To connect and to experience and be privy to gvoda da'atik, it has to come in a way that it's not contained. It has to come in the way of Cyrus, but the Cyrus here appreciates why it can't contain it. That's the Nukur. It's like Seichel appreciating its own limits and how it's privy to and, and hearing about Bligvul. But Seichel understand itself understanding why it can't uh, un- appreciate Bligvul. It's not the door's closed, there's no Shaykhs to it. We're talking the ACS Bligvul, we're saying it. But how are we saying it? We're saying it in such a way, to use a, a parallel, a similar idea, that Seichel itself is acknowledging it in awe of and be spineless of, of, of Bligvul. In Aveda, again, he's going to speak later about Shuv and Tzadik. In Aveda, it means that he appreciates that he's completely undeserving and you still love me and more than ever before. Is he, is he appreciating this? Yes. Is it justified? No. In other words, in the Seichel, it's earned? No. It's because that's you. That's you crazy, crazy love for me. So what are we going to do? The Seichel understands this. The Seichel understands that this is Pchidusa Atzimus. The Ebi says, Tain again a year. All I want you, flawed. Not only just flawed. Even though you betrayed me and I blessed you and I gave you and you ignored me, I sent a million signals, you didn't pay attention, even when you did, it's half out of a thousand. Bezim Shamayla has a million accusations. That's from day one. Afal Pikain, the Ibishta says, okay, tell the tininess and minus. You are everything to me, and I appreciate it. So this has to come in such a way that, uh, with wow, it has to come wow. That it's the only way to apprehend this. To apprehend, apprehend means to really contain, to, to connect. So it's, it is Cyrus, it is Moisim, but the whole intensity of the Gvoda, the Tainuk, David's love is, is he, he knows it. He's the recipient of it. Feel, I don't know if that's the right word, but he's certainly aware of it. And that engenders the endless ispilus, the Erchaizer. Now it's starting to come together a little bit. So this just I just maybe a little bit different. Okay, let's go weiter. Let's go weiter. Let's let them let the mime talk for a little while itself. We'll just translate the words. It's the Cyrus to which the Moisri Hashefa is drawn. So, so what's Yaakov? Yaakov's roots in the Etzim. Let, let's we have, to, we have to explain this. What this is saying is that a neshama is rooted in Atmos. That's, that's what's embodied in Yaakov. Which means it's unconditional love and they wish this forever connected to us and there's members that come out, not come out, there's no choice in it. Not for him and not for us. Ish Cholok. It's no ciders, it's raw. It's raw Atmos and Mashpia. He's rooted there. This is every neshama. Yaakov is Yisrael, is Eden. Dafke Yaakov, the neshama comes the mat in the goof. So this essential bond that the Ebishter has with every Jew that's hiding all of Cheshbonus and reasons and Milus and Chesreinus. It's irrevocable. It's, and it's un... So this appreciation of this has to be nimshach in the way of Cyrus of the Givald. There's no other way. It's just the reality how that's going to be. Wow. Experienced by us. Appreciated by us. That's our response. Our response to Givald. Yeah? Why can't you just say it's like, it's, it's like a mushal of water flowing regular but uh, nevertheless, when you, if you put a dam, if you put the Inyan or something like that, 
there's an intensity over there. So even though we're connected like naturally, Yaakov is connected naturally like a Nahar, but um, through the Indian of Gvuris, which is the Indian of uh, Yitzchak, you get like a dam, uh, mice, uh, which which uh, you get Tagboilis Achayis. I'm not I'm sure just, what you mean, but if, it, if, it, it's, if it's good for you, good. If it adds no, I'm just... Okay, racist. I'm not sure if exactly that's what you're saying here. He's saying here, but in other words, even simpler words. I'm just, I'm a McGill student, like demanding. I'm getting it, but not, not fully. He's simply saying here that our appreciation of our Jewishness, of being a Yid, of having in the Shomer, there's a chilek and the kami mal mamish can is expressed in the forever ispilus. That we are a yid, which means again that we are rooted in atzmos and the abishter's connection to us, and if this is. language fails but it's just absolute and no matter what and despite every failure on our part and again despite chastainus and milus if that doesn't engender spoilers and what should <laughs> that's the most that's the sightest okay right in the mind but that doesn't come with yaakov himself meaning it has to come yaakov is the shoydish but him himself that See, the, the, the Yaakov here is the Shurish and the Shom. That's Yaakov in this story here. And Yaakov dressed up in the Sidus and the Shom of the Mat and the Guf, ex- knowing this truth. It's explained by Chalal. See, that's, that's Esau is the Guf and Yaakov is the Neshom. So the Neshom are coming into the Guf, here into a Guf with Seichel and all the limitations, the appreciation of this truth. Is be spiders at Zuma. That's the Moses and the Sidus. The Takbaidus is there, but how is it appreciated? What's the Kali? The Kali is the spiders. Bittle, in other words. Bittle in the sense of this, wow. It's an overwhelming truth. And we're living in a time right now where the world has risen up in all of its ugliness to declare it. You are different. As I'm saying on Shabbos, if we don't embrace it and express it, we're just sinister and threatening and unsettling. But if we embrace it, our mission and our identity is hidden, then the world is in awe, and then the world wants to hear what's your message for us because the world senses in the deepest way that its destiny is bound up with us, which is why they're obsessed with us. And that's where we are right now. We're, right now, there's an awakening. I don't know what Avish is waiting for, but there's an awakening, unbelievable, his urgency that's happening. I don't think ever like this, ever in history. It's not a year that didn't have a Yehuda Tshuva in some way. It doesn't know what to do with it, but... And for many, Pasha, this Tshuva is starting to do Shabbos, Mitzvahs. It's Oyim V'Noira. And what's that? The Ebesh Tavesich Nisht. Ain't getting better than this. Finish the ice. Aval, yes, Omdom, answering your question. Zeo, Rak, but the next right here. All this is Rak, but that's Shoshish and Yaakov. This that he's rooted in the Etzen. The whole point is, should be in his Gala Lamata, as the goof is descends into Axilis and then into the into the goof. Atma says, the Nishama descends. 
The first descent of the Nisham is in Atzilus. That's what is, that's already become, starts to become part of creation. Also, have to, friends have to appreciate the you know the the Chiddush Bachal of the Rebbe's my Mori Mechsidus, but it doesn't come in the vacuum. It's coming after all the Rebbe and after the Rebbe Rasha particularly. But the Alter Rebbe like pegged the Nisham in Atzilus Chachmut Atzilus. He's Meramis. And even there, you know, Chachma is bound up with it itself, with all that flaw. But, but later on, there's this gala that even hide in Atzilus. Mushish Mamish and Atzimus. He says it clearly Atzilus is a descent. Alteb is not saying not, but it doesn't spell it out yet then. If time hadn't come, it is a Gilead Siddhis. is. That was revolutionary enough. But he's maramas. That word mamish is the big bomb. Omnom, so that's Mitzad Shoydish. I will Kadesh, Gamba Madri Gosh, Shriak, Kifishu, Bemidis, Datsilos, in order. That the atzmis dig a level of Yaakov, even as is an atzilus, yumsha hashefa mebchinas gvodes the attic that the neshama should feel the avishes. Simple language, intense love and tainug gvodes the attic. Bederech oir chayze again mchdeish gam be madrigosa she Yaakov kifishu be midas the atzilus yumsha hashefa in order that the level of Yaakov the way it is. Even in Atzilus, just at the center already. Yum shechashef and bechinis gvura de Yitzchak gvura de Atik b'derech erchayzer. Let's finish the flow. Shezui hashba nailis yoyse bechinas chesed de Atik erchayzer. As we explain to understand, right? Is higher. Kechagvul is higher, and therefore can, can't be contained in. Therefore, it's hiding. It's hiding. Chesed. The addiction. Sheches b'derech yosher. So the chliya is it the Yaakov k'de Esav as seiros. It has to come. Therefore, also in the way of seiros, in the way that which not con, not contained in the keli, not apprehended because it's beyond understanding, and it comes in a way merely of the of the erchayzet. Again, they go back to the marshal. The news that his long lost brother. Does he yes know? Is it true? He knows it. Fully, and that's what's overwhelming him. That's why it's Urchaiz, it doesn't stick. So, this truth that the Abish is Tainug in us and his Atmitic connection is, cannot be justified or explained. It doesn't stick and cannot stick in Seich. Although that's where the awareness is and in the heart. So, it's Urchaiz, it's, 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 Kide Isav Asiirois, Kivin Sham Shachish, but Urchaiz. Again, and I'm shocha, which is which means it's a tainuk that is beyond the kalim. It can only come in the way of meisrim meichin. Simple language. There's awareness in the mind, but it's not assimilated by the mind. Meisrim Of course, he has that awareness, but it's not explained and justified, and it's not natural, and it's not normal. A yid is not natural, not normal, it's our relationship with God is, and the whole Nisave isn't. So we're getting a general idea, yeah? Let's go right uh, so, so the bottom line is, is, is this what he's saying? Even though Gevurah uh, Da'atik is higher than Chesed Da'atik, and, and Yaakov, which is the fairest Da'atik, is even higher. But the maximum expression of the fairest Da'atik can only be appreciated or can only is even higher through Silas. Yeah. Okay, so it means in order for the Neshama, Ayid, that's the Yaakov, Mushish and Atmos, to appreciate what he is and the Abishta's therefore intense and not negotiable. Tainug and Ava in him, even as he comes down into a goof, and it starts in Atzilus already, 
that, that even Atzilus cannot contain that. Because that can only be appreciated in, in a way of Erechez of Ispailus. Someone loves you unconditionally despite every flaw and every hurt that you did to them. And they still love you. Not only that, they, the love is expressed ever deeper, constantly. So what's the, what's the, how do you, what was, how do you experience that? Just, I can't believe this. Well, it's spineless. It's not, not, that's El Chayza. You see it, you appreciate it, but does this make sense? No, not at all. That's the El Chayza. Yeah, so let's see now a little bit further. Navidis Adam, Tzadik in Bakshur, Bira in Bavidis Adam. To understand this in Avid and in brackets, Kibacholo in Yonim, Shitzichim Love, Gam Bavidis Adam. Everything to be learning, the whole point is to come into Avid. Shakola, Sahilik Ben Yosha, Lir Chayzu, Achilik Shibin Avidis, Tzadikim Lavidis Abali Chuva. So the difference between Yosha, which means a, a revelation that is contained by the keli, and a revelation that is not contained by the keli. That's the difference between the tzaddik and the bautzer. How so? The hinde next page here. The beer milus my beer milus bali tshuva la tzaddikim al tzaddikim gemurim misa bezoyar. So the zoyar describes the milus bali tshuva even over tzaddikim gemurim. It's two uh, girsus. One girsus tzaddik gomo says. Shezel, the Zoya says, Shezel the fee, what is the demilish about the Chuva, Moshele the Kuchibricho? The Baltchuva is drawn to the Abishta, Bechele Yati with greater power, literally. Meaning to say, Vahine Shavud, that's a Tzadikim Boy from Shatani Galiki, Bissiashvus, Bissichlom, and Bidisaya. Their delight in the Abishta, and likewise, kind of the Abishta's delight in them, it's justified. It's justified. It's a dikim. They deserve it. They've earned it. Vu a tainuk she bechenes er yosha. So this is a tainuk which is er yosha she babagbole sakeli. Again, it's 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 wonderful. Again, it's like finding a, a a long lost brother, but you knew he was alive and you were searching for him and your guide to matosa. Sakem etzi at the end, but it comes through your gear, and it's not out of the realm of. Of logic, on the contrary, if you didn't have the yigi, you wouldn't find it. So it's justified. Mashenkin about tshuva, given shal yishaku at chila b'chayshech vara. Since at the outset he was sunken in darkness and in evil, nekasher shov b'chol leiv and nefesh. When he returns with his whole heart and soul, the chosh kan nafsho elis ani gulu dovka b'ashem and his. Nefesh desires to delight and to cleave to Hashem. Talking about his time, I'm talking about Avodah now, the, the Yid. So the, the Tzaddik's time is a settled one and a justified one and a, and a measurable one and a predictable one. You know, tomorrow is going to be today. Hari Tainuk is but not about Shuvah. He is crazy. Pchinas Urcha is a radical. His time is that I cannot believe this. Lee Siyashe ben Nafshe v'kechaisov. He doesn't settle in his nefesh and his kechas. I mean, an element of this is also friends. Why doesn't it settle? Because he, he doesn't even dare. Doesn't even dare to approach this place. How could he come there? I told you many times the Meridic of what of Rabmanis. What was the problem with the King God and Kadish Akadoshim? He had an improper thought, so he died. So which fool in the world is gonna have for the three minutes Yim Kippur an improper thought in Kadish Akadoshim? What does this mean? She says the improper thought is that he earned it. He's entitled to be here. That's a violation. 
אבל קידוש הקדוש. And the BMS is, that's the mile of the Baal Shuvah. That he can't delude himself, that he hasn't earned this or deserved this at all. And why, how can maybe even here? So that's the spilus, that's the Erchayzer. Actually, you have a place in Nefesh Mamesh, and this is the ultimate, this is about the Daya, that is, uh, he comes to place in Nefesh. That's how much he cannot contain the spilus and the realization of the Abish's love for him being, he's in Kurdish Shekadosh. Yiddishkeit is Kurdish Shekadosh. Mitzvah is Kurdish Shekadosh. So this is the mile, it's a deep, much deeper emes in the tzaddik. But this is the stakad. That's why the tzaddik has to learn tshuva. Sheikh would teach the tzaddikim to do tshuva. Zer Isa, that's what the Zer says, the moshchelei bechelei that the bar tshuva is, is drawn with this true, with it with greater intensity, piddish, but takabod is kei charotzen v'atainik b'yoseh. This intense rotsen and tainug, he cannot be contained in the, what's the keli? The keli is the seichel and the certainly the goof. That this, this does, this is not justified. Doesn't make any sense. This is the ultimate givald. He completely, he completely uh, goes beyond his limitations in kleis and nefesh. But you days there and dafke the bal tshuva, therefore on avedes hashuva, magil bechinas. Einuka elyon she bechinas erchayze he touches here the einuka elyon lemaila gvurde the attic she lemaila mo einuk the elyon she bechinas eryosha much higher than the delight expressed in the eryosha, which is a justified one. It's an atzmizdika one. And this reveals, so, it's a, so let's, not, let's get clear. Yaakov is the Nisham Moshesh in Atmos, it's a Metzius. Gvurat Atik is Hashem's expressing the love for that, the, and therefore the love. And therefore the love, but Gvurat Atik is the Tainuk, is the relationship. Yaakov here, before getting dressed up in Esau, which is the Nisham coming down in Tatsilis, he says, the side is start Tatsilis. It's the beginning of the Neshama's descent in the Shtar Shalos. Here, Yaakov is the way he's Murshish and Atzma. There's no relationship. There's Murshish and Atzma. It's not a relationship. The Abish to one's Neshama should descend from there, and that Atzma's Dikir relationship should be revealed. That's Kivur of the Atik. The Atik is revealing the Atzma's Dikir relationship that the Neshama has. Is this now clear? But, but it's kind of plotted on a graph. Is that clear? Yaakov is, he speaks here, I am a Jew. The brachas of Yitzchak is, you need, the Ebers to want you to feel, feel that love, that our essential bond, as you are in the Shomer and the Guf, the I am a Jew should permeate and be revealed in your consciousness and yourself and the whole world should celebrate. That's the relationship. And feel my delight in you and every part of you and every detail in your life is everything to me. Every detail, this is the Gevur the Atik, this Tainuk, every small detail also that's also implied here. The Sidus, the smallest details of your life, says the Abishta, is everything to me. Let me in. <laughs>